Hey guys, what's up? Roger here, and as requested, no more machine running in the background. All right, so what do we want to talk about today? What I wanted to mention today was the difference between running a 0.4 nozzle and a 0.6 nozzle. And we're going to use these rails that I just finished printing with a 0.4 nozzle. So right now we got it at 0.4. Let's slice that plate and let's see what the print time is going to be. Chug a chug here. All right, total print time, seven hours and 28 minutes. So that is the 0.4 nozzle, seven hours. Does that say 28? I guess I could look down here. Yeah, seven hours and 28 minutes. And the only change we did was we did a gyroid infill at 10%. That's it. All right, so seven hours, 28 minutes. Now, let's take a look and see. We use the same values for our 0.6 nozzle. Let's slice the plate and let's see how long it takes for that one. Uh, six hours and 18 minutes, right? So what was that difference? That's about an hour-ish, you know, knocks about an hour off. So the other thing, obviously, you're going to want to know is what will be the quality difference. So that's what we're doing right now. Right now, just finished, and I'll show you here. In the, well, you won't really see it because it's down, it's dropped, but it's done. These were printed at a 0.4, and I am now going to swap the nozzle out. I'm going to put my 0.6 nozzle in, and I'm going to print this same job over again. And then we're going to see, it was it worth it to save an hour? Was it worth it? All right, so that's what we're gonna start doing right now. I'm gonna start printing with a 0.6 nozzle right now. Six and a half hours later. Okay, now we can take a look at the two models now that they're both finally printed. On the left is our 0.4 nozzle, on the right is our 0.6 nozzle. Now, interestingly enough, the 0.6 printed one hour and 39 minutes faster than the 0.4 nozzle did but it also used 58.58 more grams of material to do so interesting so let's take at the let's take a look at the surface maybe focus hmm. no focus there we go come on you can do it there we go the surface i mean far and away the 0.4 nozzle looks uh dramatically better as far as the surface is concerned um and it's weird because when i pick them up let me see because it would be normal for me to be able to detect 58 grams difference but it is, these are substantially heavier like i can feel the weight the top surface is not bad on these it's just not that you know, it just looks different. Let's see the side layers. This was at a 0.3 layer height and the for the 0.6 nozzle. And then this was at a 0.2 layer height for the 0.4. So you can kind of see the difference there. Geometry wise, they both fit. I have no issues with them. I don't know that my scale, let me check my scale. Yeah, unfortunately, my shipping scale won't work. It doesn't go down to uh, a light enough. You know, it's for shipping out, so pounds and ounces. So these are still too light to even register on my scale. But I will tell you that, you know, physically, to pick one up, pick the other one up, there is definitely more material in this. You can definitely feel... I'll have to convert 58 grams or 60 grams into pounds because... That is kind of wild that I, I can feel the difference. So yeah, so there you go. 0.6 nozzle, 0.4. Difference, one hour and 39 minutes faster, but it did use 58.58 more grams of PETG. So what do you do? Jump in the comments, let me know. What do you prefer or is the visuals important to you? Is this type of finish more important to you than saving an hour? And is the additional 58 grams of material a 
a deal breaker for you using more material which technically I believe it would be structurally stronger but um, I'm interested in your feedback let's jump in the comments let's talk about it